In this video, I'll be breaking down exactly why you are struggling to find profitability. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to find your daily bias and how everything resides under the daily bias. Now, ITT actually teaches this in a lot of his teachings and I understand that I've given you guys so many videos on entries and strategies. However, you guys need to understand the higher time frame bias because without the higher time frame bias, you are simply not going to be able to trade the correct direction. End all. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down exactly how you can find your daily bias, exactly how you can break down exactly which way you're going to be trading and then exactly how you're going to be looking for those trades in the lower time frame. So hopefully this video does help you. But let's jump straight into it. So first things first, we need to identify what is the market trying to do. As ICT says, okay, it's either re rebalancing imbalances or um, rebalancing inefficiencies. Now, what do I mean by inefficiencies? Infin inefficiencies will be like um, fair value gaps and stuff like that. And then obviously... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to put rebalance in balances. Um, uh, grab liquidity, that's it. So grab liquidity and rebalance and inefficiency. So it, rebalance and inefficiencies is as simple as uh, rebalances, those are fair value gaps, and then liquidity is just simply grabbing liquidity. So what I'm gonna do is just break down this goal chart for you guys, exactly how I've given out to my members, as you can see in the Telegram. Uh, today we had broken down gold uh, for this week. We've given the daily bias. We've given exactly what strategies to, uh, sorry, what trades we're going to be looking to get. And all of this is for $49.99 for a lifetime access. I don't think you can buy lunch for that. Also join our free Telegram. This is our Telegram app. If you've got any questions or want to connect with me on a one-to-one -one level, I share tons of tons of my payouts. I share tons of value. So much, so much free value. Even if you just want to join the free Telegram, do join there in the link below. So again, jump into the video. So first things first, you need to understand how you're going to actually get your higher time frame bias. So what you want to do is always start with your higher time frame. So this is going to be called top down analysis. Now, on the weekly time frame, as you can see here, what sort of in, uh, inefficiencies can you see that is going to rebalance to the upside? There's literally none. There's no fair value gap on the weekly time frame. Nothing to really go and significantly rebalance, right? Now, where does the liquidity reside? Now, what is liquidity? Broken down in very simple terms. We do teach this on our YouTube on uh, the liquidity video. But basically, liquidity residing is just going to be um, old significant highs and lows. Simple as so. As you can see, we've got sell side liquidity here. We've got more sell side liquidity here. And then we could potentially give uh, buy side liquidity here. But also, I want to note out that weekly highs and lows is a very, very key magnet to... Um, liquidity so we can simply just mark out this weekly high but however i just want to teach you guys so first things first what can we see with our eye we have these sell side liquidities that we can go and grab if we did want to go to the upside now because there's no inefficiency and not much buy side liquidity to the upside to go and get it just makes sense for gold to come to the downside as look to the downside we have a lot of inefficiencies look at this fair fair value gap here We've got sell side liquidity to go and get there's so many reasons for gold to actually come down so once we've actually anticipated where the weekly candle is likely to print towards we then want to drop into our daily so within our daily so first things we've uh, noticed is that we want the weekly actually to print to the downside because there's a lot more inefficiencies and a lot more liquidity to the downside than there is upside so there's not much reason for gold to actually go to the upside simply because there's no liquidity or inefficiencies to go and grab jumping onto the daily time frame now we know that we want the weekly to print to the downside. However, remember, it still needs to grab some sort of liquidity to even move to the downside. Like, like we said on the weekly, there was nothing above. But once we drop into the daily, what do we see in the daily? Bang. First things first, we notice with our eye is simple, which is this fair value gap here. So this is the fair value gap that we could potentially work towards. So first things first, we need to understand. Look here. Last weekly low got swept. Okay. So if we had swept this last week low and continue going down, we could see that this is the next uh, sell side liquidity that we would be working towards. However, we swept last week low and then reversed. Now that we've actually reversed, right, where are we going to? What inefficiency are we going to fill? We have this fair value gap that we're moving into now. So we can we know that the weekly needs to print to the downside, reason being there's no inefficiency on the weekly or sort of um, sell side liquid, buy side liquidity at all. So we know that we want to print to the downside. Okay, on the lower time frame, which is on the daily, we know that we swept last week's low, so that we've already grabbed liquidity, but we also reversed. 
But what is there? Why did we reverse? What sort of inefficiency? What liquidity are we working towards? We can see here we have on the daily time frame this fair value gap inefficiency. Now, if price moves into here and then starts getting a market structure shift on lower time frames, we would obviously look for shorts, which we've also just broken down in our weekly breakdown. However, if we bulletproof, uh, literally bullet through that, we have another fair value gap that we can potentially work towards. But you always want to work towards the nearest one, okay, which is going to be the most recent and the most nearest one, which is here. Now, what do we also have here? We have a high. So once this high gets taken out, this will be buy side taken out. When buy side liquidity gets taken out, what do we look for? Sells. Why? Because it sells stops on top of buy side liquidity. So now we've actually marked out where the inefficiency is on the daily time frame or even the liquidity area, which is this old high. We drop into the four hour time frame. Now, what do we have on a four hour time frame? ICT actually teaches this type of liquidity, which is called trendline liquidity. Now, how do retail traders actually use trend lines? They use it for these bounces. However, ICT actually uses it for trendline liquidity. As you can see, this is clear trendline liquidity and we want this to get taken. And what does that align with? This inefficiency on the daily time frame. So once this gets taken, um, we will be seeking some sort of reversal from here. How would we be doing that? We'll simply just be looking for market structure shifts on the 15 and the five minute time frame. But that's sort of how you can get your daily bias, your weekly bias. And now we've actually identified, we want the weekly to print to the downside. Okay, done. Does the daily align with that? No, not yet. Why? Because we need to actually go and fill this inefficiency, then move down. Now you can just be patient until price actually moves into it and then starts turning around or simply be taking counter trend uh, trades to that inefficiency but again you're not actually going to be striving for higher risk to reward because it's less probable um for buying uh, than it is for selling but uh that is literally how you are going to get your higher time frame bias so easy to um I identify again the market only grabs liquidity and rebalances inefficiencies no matter what time frame you're on now your higher time frame um analysis needs to be done on the weekly daily or the four hour which is totally uh, actually all, all three of them need to be done but that's how you identify higher time frame bias again do join our free telegram in the link below so much free value we share tons of payouts tons of giveaways tons of uh, trade ideas again this is our at if you ever want to message us um, and talk to me on a one-to-one -one level and then we do have a mentorship for literally 49.99 where we drop so much value just our general chat then we have the weekly breakdown section uh, we have our actual course where we teach all of our concepts and then a strategy which is our main strategy so do join that in the link below very short video very easy hopefully